everyone. In today's session, we're going to practically integrate a delimited file application into CellPoint. So this is the UI portal of CellPoint. So whenever I so I have already deployed the CellPoint identity IQ version 8.2 into the Tomcat application server. So once the application server is up and running, I can simply uh, hit the URL that's localhost 8080 identity IQ login.jsf and prompt equals to true. So this is the first UI page you're gonna see related to CellPoint identity IQ. So the default username and password is spadmin and the password is admin. So if I log in, then here you can see, then if I just simply hit the login, then here you can see the uh, contents or the different tabs related to this CellPoint identity IQ. So you have a hamburger icon that contains the normal tasks like my task, manage access, manage identity, and you have the home home tab you have my works where you can change the access reviews access requests policy violation work items you can even hit on the identities tab where you can view the identity warehouse the identity correlation identity risk module identity operation and if you, if you hit on the application you can see application definition rapid setup entitlement catalog application risk module and activity target categories and on the intelligence side, you can view the advanced analytics reports, identity risk scores and application risk scores. Under setup, you are able to create uh, certifications, roles, policies, alerts, tasks, groups, business processes, lifecycle event and batch request. And the other important icons are these uh, wheel icons. So this gear icon shows you uh, the settings related to global setting, lifecycle manager, compliance manager, administrative console, and plugin. And if you need any kind of help to understand the buzzwords inside CellPoint Identity IQ, you can simply hit this question button. So if you hit on this uh, help button or the question mark, then you can relate to any kind of uh, buzzwords or buzz term that is related to Identity IQ. So you can consider or you can find all the definitions related to the application configuration. So if you simply hit on this application configuration, uh, you can see the informations related to related to these applications or configuring any application. So let's move on uh, to discuss more about uh, the other features. This notification, the bell icon shows the notification. So if you have got any kind of work item that is related to approvals, forms, violation, and or some other types, then you're gonna have notification at this section. And the right part shows you who are you logged in as. So right now I'm, work, I'm logged in as an administrator. So the first step, we have to move on with application onboarding is click on this application tab and click on application definition okay so once you click on this application definition you will be landing you will be landed to this page right now you can see no applications are integrated so the list of applications that are already defined or integrated in the cell point are empty so it even says with the warnings warning that says no authoritative applications defined in the system and all identity will be marked on correlated. So the first step is just hit on the add new application tab. It will land you into a page where you have to define the basic details for the application you are trying to integrate. So right now I'm trying to integrate uh, one application. That application is of type delimited. So that delimited file contains uh, user records. So let me quickly show you the information that is more related to uh, that application. So I have one dummy data related to the employees. So that dummy data file name is called metahorizon auth employees.csv. So if you click on this file, you can see the contents uh, that is related to this file so here you can see that i have different entries or records of the user inside this file so the entries or let's say the first record 
at lie at row number two is related to James Smith. So the James Smith is an account or record in the delimited file application called Meta Horizon Auth employee. So in this record, you can see the attributes or schemas that is employee ID, first name, last name, manager, first full name, email, department, region, location, inactive identity, job title, and the cost center. So these are the attributes that is related to an account. And one more thing you have to notice is that in order to uh, distinguish distinguish each of the records, each of the records from each other, the unique attribute here is the employee ID because the employee ID are different to each of the records we have in this file. So we have we are trying to integrate uh, this file information into cell point identity IQ. So let me move back to the cell point UI page. So first thing we have to do is give a name to it. So I'll just give a name as Meta HR employee. And then I have to set an honor for this application. The reason I'm trying to set an honor for this application is that the person will be able to take the ownership of it. And we also have a concept of application certification. Therefore, during the application certification, work items are generated and which are which are to be worked upon by the application owner so that's the purpose i'm trying to define an application owner for here so right now i'm trying to uh, set the ad set the owner as the i'm trying to set the owner as uh, the admin and we also have to choose the application type so for now the application i'm trying to integrate is a delimited file so i can simply do a search or or select one from the list so here I can see I have a connector named delimited file so if I click on the delimited file this page gets refreshes and then I have to fill up the uh, options for this applications or other details so this is since this is our first application we are trying to integrate so I have to choose it as authoritative application and then I have to config and then I have to move into the uh, configuration in this configuration I'm trying to give the file path as well as what is the file encoding is it a local file transport or ftp ftps scp or sftp and then i have to choose the parsing type as delimited in the delimiter we have to provide uh, the special character that separates each of the attributes in the record file uh, so the way i can find the path of this uh, file is by right clicking and i'll copy the file path once this is done i can simply paste the file path in here so this is my file path the file encoding can be set as empty the parsing type should be delimited and the delimiter here should be a comma okay and i'll I also have to choose uh, this option which says that the file header has that the file has column header in the first line so i'm going i'm trying to select this as well and then i have to move on to the next uh, Tab, that is a schema so under a schema I'm for this account attribute to be read into I have to provide the uh, identity attribute which would be unique so I just told you in the earlier in the earlier session that there should be a unique attribute that separates the uh, user accounts or user records in the target application which is the employee ID so I'm trying to select the employee ID the display attribute can be a full name or it can be any attribute that you want to set up so once you are able to do this, just hit on the discover schema attribute. So discover schema is a kind of, uh, let's say the delimited file connectors feature string. So I'm trying to hit the discover schema. So once I hit the discover schema, it tries to list all the attributes or properties that are in correspondent with the records. So once I clicked on the discovery schema, I'm able to read all the properties or attributes that is related to each of the user accounts. That is employee ID, first name, last name, manager ID, full name, email, department, reason, location, inactive, identity, job title, and cost center. So once you have all these uh, attributes of the user accounts read, just hit on the preview. So the preview provides all the user record like this. So these records are exact replica of the records in the file that you that we just discussed earlier so once you are able to do this just go to uh, settings 
try to do a test connection so it means that test connection is successful that means whatever the configurations that i have done for this meta hr employee which is, which uses a delimited file type the connection is successful that means selpod is able to read that file through the through the configuration that i have provided now simply click save so once you have clicked uh, save we can see meta hr employee defined in cell point so the next step we have to do is try to create a task so for that go to setup and task and try to click on the new task and under this task create on click on account aggregation so now we have to define a task such that cell point starts reading each of the record in the file and based on the uh, identity attribute we have provided and in the schema cell point will start creating identities so right now i'll just define the name as meta tax definition dash hr employee and then i will have to choose the application that i want to scan for this aggregation so i'll be selecting the meta hr employee and with this just click on save and execute click on save and execute so it says that the task has been executed in the background so click on ok you can check the task result here you can see that the task was drawn at this time and the task result is already complete so i can see the task result it says that the application has account so it says that the application i have scanned is meta hr employee and by scanning the application meta hr employee or the delimited file associated with this application 158 accounts were read and based on these 158 accounts 158 identities were created so if you click on identities and identity warehouse you will find all the identities that were created so click on identity warehouse here you can see that identities are created and the total number of identities including the sp admin is 159 so one thing you you have to notice is that the identities are created but i'm unable to see the uh, attributes of the users such as first name last name manager if you even click on one of the identity you will be landed into this page so this is this page is called identity queue because this page provides you the 360 degree view of the identities you can see the identities attributes as entitlement application account policies history risk activity user rights and events so this user right uh, controls the uh, capability of the identity so right now the user doesn't have any kind of capabilities assigned but if i assign him any kind of capabilities then in then then in that situation he will be able to use different tabs of the uh, of this uh, of this uh, cell point identity iq if i just simply assign him as system administrator once that user logs into into the cell point iq portal he'll be able to see all these tabs but if he is provided with some least privileged cap capabilities then he won't be able to utilize some of the uh some of the uh tabs that we see in here so one thing that i need to perform so that i can see the other attribute details of this user is I have to go to the global setting and then I have to go into this identity IQ mapping here here what we can do is that it generally like these are the attributes I these are the basic or default identity attributes in cell point now we just want to source or we just want to uh, define the source for each of these attributes let's say uh, if I click on email so email is a default attribute default identity attribute and if i want to just uh, source its value then i have to click on add source and then i have to choose the application so in meta hr employee application the attribute we have is email that the, what i mean to say is that if you just see on this delimited file you have an attribute or column that is email so we have to define this attribute in here so i will just select the email attribute i will click on add so now what happens is that the values required for this identity attribute called email will be sourced from the email attribute that is email attribute or email column defined in this meta hr employee application then i need to click on save similarly i can do the same for first name last name 
I'll click on attire. I'll click on first name. I'll add it. I'll save it. I'll again click on last name. I'll click on add source. I'll click on the application and I'll choose the uh, attribute which comes which which will be like last name. I'll click on add and I'll click on save. So once this is done, I'll just simply run a task. <coughs> And that task name is called uh, refresh identity cube so whenever i run a refresh identity cube task this task will run for each of the identities and it will try to calculate it, calculate the updated values or will try to like check for the attributes of the identities to keep it up to date so i'll just simply execute it i'll click on ok i'll click on tax result <coughs> And here I can see that refresh identity task is in completed stage. And here I can see that some scores have changed. <coughs> so whenever you see some scores have changed, that means the refresh identity cube has run for all the identities and whatever the mappings we have done that have taken into effect. So now let's check on identities and identity warehouse. See? Once we have performed the identity mapping of three of the attribute, that was first name, last name, and email. Now we are able to view the attribute values. If I just click on one of, in any of the identities, I can see the email attribute value is also populated. The last name value is also populated. The first name value is also populated. So similarly, I would request you all to uh, perform, perform identity mappings of other attributes and see what kind of changes you will be able to view. So now if you click on application definition, if you click on this application that we just integrated and click on accounts, here we can see all the user record that is related to Meta HR employee and all these records are were created based on the user record we had in this file. So this kind of aggregation is known as account aggregation and the application we integrated today or let's say the configurations we made today was more related to delimited application so in the next session i'll be describing more about uh, jdbc application onboarding so we will so we will have some dummy accounts for that application and once that uh, jdbc application is integrated then we'll perform some kind of uh, account or identity correlation so we will be describing uh, account correlation manually or that correlation can be based on a configuration and that, correla that correlation can also be defined by rules. So until then, I'll, I'll bid you goodbye. Thank you everyone. Thank you. I'll meet you on next session.